Hello, welcome to the final section of this tutorial on the Titanic dataset. In this section, we want to work on the dashboard. So in your Excel, create an additional worksheet. And let's call it dashboard. And what we need to do, go to view and turn off the formula bar, turn off the headings, turn off the grid lines to have a plain background that we will use. Click on any of the cells, Ctrl A to select all the cells. Go to Home, go to More Colors, go to Custom Colors, and then let's set the default color as 170 by 90 by 140. So this will be our default color for this design. We can make it a little darker. We have our first color shade. Now we need to generate a second color shade, so let's just make it a little darker. Secondly, we need a shape, so go to insert. We bring a rectangle with rounded corners. Okay, we will take the rectangle from this point and lift it up to this point. Okay. Turn the edges. Have this perfect shape. I'll reduce the shape a little and have some spaces towards the edges. For this, we want the background to be a gradient. So we'll go to Format and we'll go to Shape Fill and we pick Gradient and we'll go to More Gradient and we'll click on Gradient. We'll look at the type of gradient, set it to Linear. Look at the direction of the gradient. We use linear rectangle. Good. And we we'll set the point. We we'll set this first point. Click on this one. Click on the down arrow. This is our default color. So let me use this color to show you how to change it. So we we'll just make it darker. So this will be the default dark color for our design. We have that first one. We we'll change the second one to that same dark color. Okay, now we undo this. Change the second one to a shade of dark. Bring this a little in and the third color. The same color and the fourth color, the same color. Okay, so if I close this, we have this is what we have. The outline is blue, we don't need that blue outline, so the outline should be this original shade of color that we started with. Okay, so we have this as our design. We also need to give it a, a glue effect. So let's put the glow effect, but the glow effect also will change the color of the glow effect. So we'll go to more options and we we'll give it a dark glow effect. So it comes out this way. Good. This is our background. Next, we need the shapes that will hold the different charts. Let me bring up this one. And we frame this to the edge a little. We also use a gradient effect on this. So the same way we did the other color. Shape fill, we use gradients, go to more gradient. And we select gradients. This time we'll set it from linear up. We set the gradient as linear up and we we'll reduce the Level of blackness. Yes, we have the effect. We take off the outline. We don't need an outline. So click no line. Okay, let's see what a solid line will look like. Okay, so we can add the line on it to really make it stand out. Okay, we need another shape. But this time, we'll take the rectangle 
with top corners rounded and we draw it to zoom in to be sure okay to the top and curve it a bit so okay so for this particular one we'll put the so yes, we'll put the shape fill, we'll give it the light color and the outline there will be okay. In this case, I'll use no outline. Okay, give it a little down shadow effect. Okay, so set our screen back to 100. So we group these two now right click on each of them and then say group we copy and paste one three so select the three and go to format and you will see what is called align horizontally to create equal space between them and then align all of them to the top so we have that aligned correctly. So Ctrl C and Ctrl V, and we can also align this. We have this as our default template. So let's start bringing in the charts.